the moment we've spent most of our time uh, up till now uh, coordinating with the humanitarian agencies and the government of Sri Lanka on where best our uh, contribution could be made. Uh, and we think this is important. I think there's, uh, it's important to identify what specific tasks we could add value in uh, before we start uh, uh, throwing uh, capabilities and forces in, into the area and, and almost contributing to, to, to the problem rather than uh, uh, attempting to solve it. There's, there's two uh, um, naval ships um, uh, in, in the area. Um, one is a, a warship with uh, quite a significant crew who could, who could move ashore and assist. It's also got helicopter support and, uh, and engineering support in the area. So they, they would be quite a valuable asset to have offshore. Uh, we've got a logistic uh, uh, ship, uh, RFA Diligence, uh, which is uh, arriving tomorrow morning, and that brings uh, a sort of deeper engineering capability, uh, as well as uh, some logistics like the provision of uh, fresh water and, and fuel. And we hope that there'll be a value in the areas that the government of Sri Lanka uh, want us to deploy them.